Hello, everyone, and welcome to Jay Get It. Today, we're diving into the essentials of personal finance. Whether you're just starting out or looking to refine your financial strategy, understanding how to manage your money is key to achieving your financial goals. From budgeting to investing, we're covering the basics that everyone needs to know. Personal finance is all about how you manage your money. It's the foundation for making informed decisions, whether you're planning to buy a home, saving for your child's education, or setting up for a retirement fund. It's not just about saving and spending. It's about creating a financial plan that helps you meet your financial goals. Let's start with the basics, bank accounts. A bank account is usually the first financial account you'll open, and it's crucial for managing your money safely. But why is having a bank account so important? Having a bank account offers several advantages. First, it's safer than holding cash. In the US, your funds are insured by the FDIC, so your money is protected even if the bank faces a crisis. Plus, having a bank account is essential for everyday financial activities like using a debit card, receiving paychecks, and even paying your bills. Next, let's talk about the types of banks. You might picture a traditional building when you think of a bank. But did you know there are banks that operate entirely online? Both brick and mortar and online banks offer similar services, but there are some differences to consider. Online banks typically offer higher interest rates on saving accounts and lower fees on loans since they don't have the overhead for physical locations. On the other hand, brick and mortar banks offer in-person services, which can be helpful if you prefer to face-to-face -face interactions. The choice between the two depends on your personal preferences and financial needs. When choosing a bank, you might come across retail banks and credit unions. So what's the difference? Retail banks are for-profit institutions that offer a wide range of services, including checking accounts and savings accounts, loans, and credit cards. They often have advanced online technology and a large network of branches and ATMs. Credit unions, on the other hand, are not-for-profit organizations owned by their members. They typically offer low fees and better interest rates, but with fewer branches and ATMs. Now, let's explore the different types of bank accounts you can open. Each type serves a specific purpose, so it's important to choose the right one for your needs. Number one, savings account. A savings account is a safe place to store your money while you're earning a bit of interest. It's perfect for short-term goals like building an emergency fund or saving for a vacation. Number two, checking account. A checking account is all about convenience. It's designed for frequent transactions such as paying bills or making purchases with a debit card. While it doesn't usually earn interest, it offers easy access to your funds. Number three, high yield savings account. Look for higher returns on your savings. A high yield savings account offers better interest rates, but it might come with higher minimum balance requirements. Online banks often offer the best rates. One of the most important steps in the personal finance is building an emergency fund. This fund acts as a financial safety net, helping you cover unexpected expenses without going into debt. An emergency fund should cover at least three to six months worth of expenses. Keep this money in separate savings account to ensure it's there when you need it. Remember, this fund is for emergencies only. Don't dip into it for regular expenses. Personal finance is a journey, and it starts with understanding the basics. By choosing the right bank accounts and building an emergency fund, you're setting up yourself for financial success. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips on managing your money. Thanks for watching. The only people who get it are the people who get it. Goodbye.